Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I woke up with a sore throat. So forgive my voice if it sounds a little funny. <laughs> but we're going to get through this video. Uh, we're playing the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. The Los Angeles Lakers have a 7 o'clock matchup here in Los Angeles against that team. And uh, we're coming off a loss that we really would love to have not had against the Sacramento Kings where we lost by 10 after being up by 19. In the first quarter, ended up down by 22. In the second quarter, it was unbelievably embarrassing. <laughs> now, what we're looking at is uh, a Milwaukee Bucks team that may not have Chris Middleton. Um, Giannis has an Achilles soreness type of thing. He may not go. It's, he's a game-time decision, although it's a game in Los Angeles against the Lakers. I'd imagine Giannis will play. Something interesting on the injury report that I think everybody should know about. Jared Vanderbilt is considered a game time decision. Now, that doesn't mean I expect him to play. Uh, what I read was that he was seen without a walking boot on Monday. <laughs> that absolutely does not tell me that he's ready to go. Um, it is Friday. And maybe he had some time to do some running around. I haven't heard anything about him running around. But uh, the word is, is that he is a game time decision um so I don't, I don't expect him to play i'm gonna be honest with you I, I don't i don't see him coming back tonight it's a little too soon uh but given the fact the lakers are in dire need of his production uh defensively i wouldn't be surprised if we were uh rushing him back i hope we're not but i think we may so let that be whatever we think it's going to be from there i just wanted people to know that he is a game time decision now uh, when you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, essentially what, what you're looking at is a team that was on a six-game winning streak after the last, or before their last game against the Golden State Warriors, where the Golden State Warriors blew them out rather handedly. They had a Trace Jackson Davis type game. He, he went completely nuts on them. Steph Curry also had a good shooting night, and they, it didn't bode well for them. Uh, before that, they were on a six-game winning streak where they beat the likes of the Charlotte Hornets twice back-to-back, -back. Uh, the Chicago Bulls as well. They beat the Clippers in that streak, um, a few other teams as well. So they're playing well if you remove their very last game. Now, this could be the beginning of a trend of them not playing well. Obviously, they're missing some key guys, but it's one thing to understand about this team. Patrick Beverly's over there now. Uh, they required him halfway through the season, I think, at the trade deadline from the Philadelphia 76ers. And he and Doc Rivers obviously know each other very well. So that's a certain level of synergy that, that you can expect and a certain uh, emphasis on beating us and having antics go on down there. We know Pat Beverly. He's going to start some stuff. You know he is. He got it too with Austin last time he was out there against him. Even though I didn't take that very seriously, for whatever it's worth, it's something to remember. <laughs> now, um, when I'm considering the Milwaukee Bucks, I got to look at their starting lineup right now. Uh, they're starting Jay Crowder and playing him like 20 minutes a game. And that's a Doc Rivers thing. I honestly don't think Jay Crowder has a whole lot left. He's probably only going to be down there to play defense, and I don't think that defense that he gives them is the same defense that they probably expected. Doc Rivers in Doc Rivers fashion has taken all of the young guys that had upside that they should be developing and pushed them to the back of the bench. One of the reasons why I can't stay at Doc Rivers because he always does his stupid crap with every team he goes to. So you're probably not going to see Marshawn Bochamp, Andre Jackson, uh, A.J. Green, all these nice young guys that they're really excited about. He got rid of them. They're all, they're, you're probably not going to see them unless it's a garbage time. So that's what to expect. But you are going to see a whole lot of Jay Crowder. You're going to see a lot of Pat Connaughton. You're going to see a lot of uh, Bobby Portis, whose role has increased significantly since uh, Middleton is set down. So you can expect a big night from Bobby Portis. It seems to me that uh, Lopez's production has gone down this season from what he was last year playing huge. I told him not to pay him all that damn money because he's 176 years old. At some point in time, his production is going to slow down. You paid him for yesterday's production, etc., etc. Well, it looks like that production has slowed down, but... He's an ex-Laker, and anytime we see an ex-Laker come to town, just like Pat Beverly, we expect them to play their best game. So that's that's what I want to say, man. Um, Giannis, if Giannis plays, you can expect anything from Giannis, although he is dealing with a little bit of pain. He's only fresh back from that game 
uh, where he did play against the Golden State Warriors, but he had missed several games before that. I do expect him to go. I just don't know what level he's going to be playing at. But even half of Giannis is still better than most, and we know what he can do on both sides of the floor. Dunk, 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 block shots, rebound. Maybe he hit some threes. I remember one game about three years ago, he hit like five threes on us, so we know he could get hot against us. But, uh, you know, with that Achilles injury, I just don't really know if he's going to be his 100% self. But even even so, we, we very much are uh, in need of Anthony Davis to play well against him. Um, yeah. Anthony Davis. We talked a lot about Anthony Davis and how he hasn't really played well against bruiser European centers. It just is what it is, man. He's been getting his butt whooped by Sabonis and uh, Dodd, uh, Nurkic. Also, um, you know, uh, Wimby got him. And, of course, uh, Joker got him. So, everybody's thinking about this. He needs to get his act together. He needs to play better. He needs to rebound more. Uh, he needs to score if, if at all possible. You know what I mean? Shots may not fall, but. He's got to get back to his regular self. And if he's hurt, he needs to let people know. Because at this point, uh, we're getting half of what we expect from Anthony Davis. And it's hurting us bad. We need that production. So, yeah, he's been much has been said about him and how he didn't show up against that Sacramento King team. And how he's lost nine overall games, nine straight games, and has never won any games against Sabonis. So that... It's something that we're going to be thinking about uh, until we see the Kings next week on Wednesday. But for now, we just got to try to bounce back against Giannis. And um, that's a tough matchup. That is a tough matchup. Now, LeBron James is expected to be a game-time decision. Of course, we saw him exit the game uh, just with a little soreness with the ankle that's been ailing him the entire season. Essentially, it's an ankle injury that probably ain't going to heal. It's just wear and tear. Old man. Um I personally think he left the game because he was frustrated, and I didn't blame him. That's how bad it was. But at the same time, I did get a little frustrated when I went into my rant about it, just overall with the mentality of the team and the overall leadership that he needs to provide in circumstances like that needs to be above uh, frustration level. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to work with one another, and we need to overcome Darvin Ham. Uh, literally, uh, that is exactly what it is. We got to overcome our coach. Our coach makes a lot of decisions that we don't agree with. Doesn't call timeouts when the team's not playing well. We need to play well so we can't, so we don't have to uh, be angry at him for not calling timeouts when we don't. And so that's what it is. Bringing the effort to the game tonight, understanding the need to win this game. We need to stay above the standings. Uh, we need to get out of tenth place. We do not want to be in a one and done situation in the end season tournament or the play in tournament i wish they would change the names of those stupid damn tournaments but anyway it is what it is um we gotta win and uh we 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 did play some good ball before we ran into the two teams that we we're terrified of but when we ran into those two teams we folded like a lawn chair it is what it is sacramento and denver they are our dads we owe both of those teams father's day cards and that is that but I don't believe that's the case with the Milwaukee Bucks. We haven't seen them since the preseason. We did win that game in the preseason. It's nearly the end of the season now, and we're finally seeing them for the first time in the regular season. So, you know, we need to establish who we want to be against this basketball club. And um, <clears throat> understand that we got another matchup against them um, in about two weeks from now as well in Milwaukee. So, yeah, man, the Milwaukee Bucks, I don't know what to expect from them because they had been winning so much and then they came out and got blown out. And so is that going to – who they play, uh, the Golden State Warriors did attack them in a strong way. Will they be who they were against them or will they be who they were against everybody else before that? Uh, that's the question. Uh, so that's that's really what it comes down to. I just expect a lot of energy from ex-Lakers over there. Uh, I expect – uh, like I said, Bobby Portis to be especially uh, intent on winning this basketball game just because I think he played out a, a good game against the Golden State Warriors and it came to nothing. So they're not going to want to continue this this West Coast road trip in the way that it's been. And given the fact that they saw how we folded against the Sacramento Kings, I can only imagine they feel like they could get things done against us. Now, of course, I haven't mentioned <clears throat> Dame Lillard, which is a huge mistake because Dame Lillard is obviously the other superstar on that team. Uh, you got to deal with him, man. Uh, he's coming off an all-star sweep, basically. He won the all-star MVP and the three-point contest. 
and has played some really good ball for them during the stretch of wins that they had. Now, I don't even remember what his stats were against the Golden State Warriors, but he did go home. He's from Oakland, San Francisco area, and uh, got his hat brought to him in his only matchup up there. So I know for a fact he's going to want to come down here and make up for that. So we need to be ready for Dame time, and it really doesn't matter if Giannis plays or not because Dame time is possible. Now, he's going to be very well. He could be cold. We've seen him have cold games with the Milwaukee Bucks type games that you wouldn't see too much with the Portland Trailblazers. Their synergy with him and Giannis isn't quite what they needed to be as of yet. But, you know, they're still working on it. We need to take advantage of anything we can. And when it comes to Dame time, if you leave him open from behind the arc, good night. And that's what you need to understand about the Milwaukee Bucks. They have shooters, man. Malik Beasley, ex-Laker. We know he's a good shooter this year. He wasn't for us but for them he's been good uh, leave him behind the arc he could have one of them nights run the score up we've seen him do it so don't be surprised if the Milwaukee Bucks come in and play especially well against us because they have so many ex-Lakers so many people with the ties to Los Angeles Doc Rivers you know we just got to understand that there's a lot of interest in California on that team so we got to uh, know that the Laker game is going to be the game they've had circles on their calendar all year long. It just is what it is, man. Uh, Thanasis, you know what I mean? He's going to he's gonna scream. He's going to holler. He may do a dunk on somebody or something. Be ready for him. Pat Connaughton, we know that old champ is serious. I've seen Pat Connaughton play great ball in the finals, game six. Never forget it. Uh, so, you know, that's not somebody that's going to be catching me off guard if he plays well. And... Uh, Hopefully Middleton stays on the injury report. You know, they're a much different team when they have that shooter out there hitting mid-range shots and stuff like that. I don't expect he'll be playing. I don't know when he'll be back, but um, he he definitely brings a dynamic to them that we need to be aware of. And for some reason, he does find himself being a game-time decision later on as the day progresses because it's barely like 7 o'clock. I don't know what what the status of everybody will be by the end of this, this day. But I'll tell you this. If we could get Vanderbilt back out there, that would be a heaven set. I just could, I am concerned that he would be uh, a guy that ultimately ain't ready to play. Sort of like Cam was, Cam Reddish. We brought him back and he got hurt again. We just need to be very careful with Vanderbilt. But it is rather interesting to see that he's a game-time decision. So, yeah, man, I don't know if he remains that. I, I seriously doubt he plays tonight. But, um... It is what it is, man. That that is what we got here, man. The Milwaukee Bucks, the L.A. Lakers. Uh, you know the the Bucks are going to be wearing their white uniforms on our floor. And we're going to be wearing our ugly purple black uniforms that I want us to get rid of. And we usually don't win in. Uh, that's what it is going to be. And uh, you know, I, I just look at my Los Angeles Lakers team, and and I'm frustrated with them. I tell you guys that the rant that I made yesterday is the one I want y'all to watch. I'm just I'm sick of a lot of stuff that I'm seeing there. I'm frustrated. I want people to make some changes. I haven't seen those changes as of yet. And by the end of the season, if this thing continues on the path that it looks like it's going, we need to start doing some things with this franchise. We need to start start getting rid of some people, seriously. Uh, but hopefully they could, <clears throat> for the next 19 games, make us feel differently about what we've been seeing. And there's always another chance to play well, man. And so that's what I'm going to say. I hope the team plays well tonight. I'm always rooting for us. Uh, I know that we're dealing with injuries. I know that we're dealing with a young coach. I know we're dealing with the older LeBron and AD, you know, it's had a lot of wear and tear on the season, etc. So I know we got all the excuses in the world, but this is a big game. We tend to show up for big games and I want to see us show up. We had a big lead the last game. We just gave up a big lead after that and then proceeded to get blown out. So... The idea that you could get the, you know, the, the production that you're looking for uh, is possible. We can play well. We've seen ourselves play well. We just need to not lose confidence as we continue throughout the course of a game when the team counters us. And that's what we saw as our team get countered and, and fall to the ground and cry, basically. And it was uh, humiliating to see us lose the games that we've lost lately. The last two games that we lost were, were unbelievably humiliating. Uh, so that's really what it comes down to, man. This team can win big, but this team can really embarrass you when they lose. And they need to figure out who the hell they want to be. Straight up. Um, you know, this wishy-washy, today I'm confident, t tomorrow I'm scared. Uh, mentality is going to get you beaten uh, in the playoffs. You're not going to get very far. So 
that's really what it is, man. I just want to see how this season plays out. As I've told you guys, this has not been my favorite season of basketball with the Lakers. It really hasn't. I've, I'm not going to sit up here and say I haven't enjoyed it, but there have been more times than not where I found myself frustrated at the end of basketball games. And not every season does that for you that, you know, especially if you got LeBron and AD on your team, man. But it is what it is. This has not been the greatest season for the Los Angeles Lakers. And hopefully we can end it on a high note by exceeding our expectations thus far and what we've shown. Uh, but it's going to take guys getting healthy. It's going to take people improving. It's going to take people overachieving, man. So we need to turn down the turnovers. Uh, we had 14 in the last game. Uh, the game before that, I think we had like 20. I think it was 20 of them. So we need to turn down the turnovers. Uh keep people out of our paint although trying to keep Giannis out of the paint is going to be a tall task uh the fact that we gave up 74 points in the paint to the Sacramento Kings should make it so that it's on our minds tonight we need to not let that happen um rebound the ball I think we've done a little bit of a better job rebounding the ball but it needs to be done tonight against Giannis Antetokounmpo and and those guys and um Bob Portis and uh that's what's on my mind, man. It, it could be Dame time tonight. Uh, I don't want it to be Dame time tonight. We need to we need to guard the perimeter and, and put people on him that he's not going to be able to blow past. Uh, he's not a speed demon like De'Aaron Fox, but he is Dame Lillard, and he can get to the rim just as anybody else can at that level. So if we don't respect that, uh, they both, Giannis and Dame, could have big nights on our floor, and we don't want that. So it's, it's time to show some pride. It's time to, to, to lace up our bootstraps and understand the importance of each and every game. We're in 10th place, and we would love to move up if at all possible. Although moving down doesn't look very likely, moving up is still something we could do. It's at least into the eighth spot uh, if we continue to win games. And so we need to start that process tonight. We need to not have a letdown here. Uh, this is another one of them teams, like I said, we're going to see very soon uh, once again. And... Let's set the tone for who we want to be against them. So that's that's pretty much what I gotta say, man. Ah, these Lakers have been frustrating me. I just I just hope tonight could be another one of those bounce back nights because we did have a good one against OKC after getting ourselves uh, beaten yet again by the Denver Nuggets. And so it's it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Hopefully this will be another night where we are hot and uh, get us a nice home victory against a contender there. So. That's what it is. Lakers Bucks, 7 o'clock, 10 p.m. Eastern, BDF 44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.